Fiberglass pools are made with a series of resin and fiberglass layers. Arguably though, the most important layer is the one that is gonna be on prominent display in your backyard and it's gonna carry the beautiful color you select. I'm talking of course about the gel coat finish. That is what we're gonna talk about on today's video. I'm Christian with River Pools. We are inside of our new plant and this is the second series of how fiberglass pools are made, part two. All right, so what are we going to accomplish today? Well, we're gonna give you the answers to three big questions. Number one, what is gel coat? That'll be a quick one. We'll get to that one in just a second. Number two, what is polymerization? And what the heck does that have to do with gel coat? And number three, when it comes to manufacturing, what exactly is the river pool's way? So let's start off with question number one. What is gel coat? Actually, it's, it's over here. I don't know why I went that way. is gel coat. Well, it's basically dyed resin, and it's the color you'll be looking at on your pool. It's also the first layer applied to the mold that we're gonna use to build your pool. It's applied using a gel gun or a paint gun, basically, that introduces gel coat material, air, and catalyst simultaneously at the point that it comes out of the gun and is applied to the mold. Polymerization is the cross-linking of many, many small molecules or monomers to produce a chain of molecules or a polymer. It is the cross-linking of all of these monomers to produce the polymer that produces the incredibly durable finish known as gel coat. Which brings us to our last question, and that is when it comes to manufacturing, what exactly is the river pool's way? In short, it's our commitment to you that we're not going to cut corners at any point to save time or money. In fact, it's our series of best practices to promote polymerization to the fullest extent possible in an effort to produce the most durable and long-lasting gel coat finish a fiberglass pool could possibly have. There are three elements to the River Pools Way manufacturing that promote polymerization. The first is removing any and all water from our compressed air system. The second is gonna be the air temperature and the third is gonna be the catalyst ratio. Let's head over to our compressed air system and explain and show you precisely how we ensure that all the water is removed from those air lines. With regard to our compressed air system, there are two main components. Number one, the compressor, and number two, the tank behind me is where all that compressed air sits. But with regard to removing water from the system, we have four levels of redundancy. The first of which is right here. This is the water separator. It's basically a filter that's pulling out the first pass of water from the air line. From there, the air goes into the air dryer. It's basically a fancy dehumidifier, and we're drying the air out using heat. The air then travels into the storage tank, and at the bottom, there's a very small pump that will remove any collected water produced from condensation. And number four is this water trap and desiccant filter. Now, why the heck is it all the way back here in the corner where nobody can get to it? Well, quite honestly, because everything upstream is doing so much of the heavy lifting that by the time the air gets to this water trap, there's no more water to pull out of it. Uh, so this guy plays a critical role in our four levels of redundancy, but he doesn't do a whole lot of work. And quite honestly, we just forget about him. <laughs> With regard to the catalyst, we need to make sure that it runs at about one and a quarter to two percent of the gel coat as a ratio. Now there's a variance depending on what time of year it is at the outside environmental temperature. Incidentally, this is the gel coat gun. The gel coat itself is going to come out of this nozzle. The catalyst at the correct ratio is going to come out of these two nozzles and the compressed air 
dry air, mind you, is going to come out of these two nozzles right here. Speaking of catalyst, that's what this material is right here. And it's actually the element that kicks off the process known as polymerization. Now we've showed you how we remove water from the air lines. We've talked about how much catalyst is needed, one and a quarter to two percent. But what about the air temperature, both in the plant and the temperature of the mold? Those also play a big part. Ideally, everything is between 70 to 80 degrees with the perfect temperature being 77 on the mold. All three elements come together to apply the gel coat finish to your pool and thus polymerization begins. My friends, we've gone over a lot of information today. We talked about what gel coat is, we talked about polymerization and described why it's so important to the cure of your gel coat, and we talked about all the best practices that go into the River Pools way of manufacturing. We've actually just begun. We'll speak a lot more about that as the series progresses. I'm Christian with River Pools. You've become a little pool wiser today, my friends. We will see you on the next episode of how fiberglass pools are made very soon. Catch the wave. to produce the best, most durable gel coat finish possible for your fiberglass pool. Why were we not recording when I said that? We were. Oh, we were. Huh. I, why wasn't I looking at the lens? He doesn't do a whole lot of work and he's often forgotten. Um, I, I can still see you.